what's up squad welcome back to my channel so the f this video i'm gonna break this video up into two separate videos one is gonna be my eyes and one is gonna be my foundation and i'm gonna be using all new products in this video um and if you see me looking this way my mirror is this way so yeah I am going to be using my favorite foundation in one of my videos, one of my latest videos, I told you that the Urban Decay All Nighter was my favorite foundation and it still is. I went up a shade because I was telling you that the 8, I had 8.0, it was too ashy. So I went and bought the 8.75 and the girl at the counter told me the 0.75 is golden because I'm golden. <laughs> Living my life like it's golden, okay? When I'm doing my foundation, I use a dry beauty blender to give you, for me, I need the most coverage. Like, I don't know, okay, y'all can see. So I have acne scarring. So I need full coverage like whoa so this is why this is my favorite foundation because i haven't found anything that is more full coverage than the urban decay all nighter but i normally start off with the charge water by mac mine is almost empty but i will moisturize and i will use so the moisturizer that I use before my foundation is the Mary Kay Time Wise Age Fighting Moisturizer. Looks like this. I love this because it's very lightweight and it doesn't make my skin oily. So what I have realized is my skin does not like primers. I have oily skin, but I have to make sure that I really moisturize my skin or oh, I think my skin is dehydrated right now it does still get oily it gets super oily if I put any type of primer or anything that's too heavy and then you can still see texture and stuff so I think that it's dehydrated so I love using that and only only these two products before I put on my foundation and this foundation is matte so that's another reason why I like to use a lot of moisture under my foundation another thing if you have super oily skin another thing that I have noticed works pretty good is the 24 hour extend eye base by Mac sometimes I will use this as a primer and it really really keeps everything in place this you only need the smallest amount because a little bit goes a long way so I'm going to use that much all over my t-zone and the texture of this is kind of it's not the silicone type but it's some it's something it's kind of like that slick texture so I just like to pat it in to kind of fill in those pores and those problem areas and then also I have texture like on my cheeks so I like to kind of fill in that texture, but it really, really helps to keep everything like mattified. And I'll put it in my brows because them bad boys get woolly. So after that, I will go in with my foundation of the Urban Decay All Nighter. I will use two pumps on a dry beauty blender. If your beauty blender is damp, it sucks up more products and it makes it look more sheer. So when I tried this color on the other day, I was like, what? <sighs> but this oxidizes pretty dark. So it looks scary at first. So now that I look like an Oompa Loompa, I'm gonna go in with my concealer, which is my favorite. The sharp, the, the sharp, <laughs> the Tarte Shape Tape. 
and the color I have is medium. I want, I think I want to do tan, sand tan or something, whatever it's called. But for now, I'm just going to use this. I just do two dots. So that's how I look when I put on my concealer. If you go and buy this concealer, this is all you need. You will not, you will be blending for hours if you use too much of this concealer. As well as this foundation. You only need a little bit. So I'm gonna use the side that I use for my foundation to blend out this concealer because it is pretty light. And this concealer does dry kind of quick, so move quick. So then immediately I go in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Bake. And press it into the skin. Don't swipe. Just press it into the skin. You're pressing it in so it's locking everything into place. So I also bought the Naked Skin Powder Foundation from Urban Decay. It comes in this cute little baggie and the color I have is medium dark golden. She told me that that was the color that went with that color um, from the, <laughs> I can't even talk. This color, the 8.75. Um, it does come with this little sponge. I'm not using that. I'm going to use this little powder brush that I have already. And just kind of set this foundation. I'm so proud of my skin. It looks so smooth nowadays. Hell yes. Next, I will bronze my skin. I'm using the Mineralize skin finish in dark tan looks like this i am going to bronze with this morphe r9 r7 <laughs> and i'm gonna go in i'm going to place it here on my cheek a different color to contour today i just bought this it's swiss chocolate by mac and it's a blush and it's going to give me that contour i am going to use this contour brush by real techniques i actually never use this to contour i always use it to kind of like set my under eye <sighs> ballisti So, now that my eye is watering, that means we're doing makeup. <laughs> Under my contour, I do like to sharpen it. So whatever I have left on my, um, my beauty blender, I will just draw like a line under my contour and it'll look a little sharp. I will highlight so I bought I told you I'm using all new products today <laughs> I bought oh darling from Mac brand spanking new I'm going to use that to comp to highlight today I'm going to be using a combination of the Morphe Y13 and the Morphe Y14 both of these are highlighter brushes. 
you get different effects with 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 each one so i'm gonna go in with this charge water to kind of wet my skin <laughs> i'm going with the fan brush first So that's my base. You see, we glowing. <laughs> we glowing. Next, Tarte Make Believe in Yourself. That's what it's called. It looks like this. This is the palette that I'm going to be using on my eyes today. But the middle shade is a highlighter. So I'm going to use that over top of what I already have. And I'm going to use the Y14. Whoa. This is pretty much my foundation routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> Go and purchase these items because they are my favorites. I bought them with my own money, so I know they're my favorites. And yeah stay tuned for the next video i will be using this palette here on my eyes and yeah i love you guys i will see you in my next video